<sighs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today, I'm feeling a little bit worse for wear. I don't know if, if you watched my last week's... If you watched last week's vlog, you know I'm not feeling great. So, today, I'm going to have a bit of a self-care day, I think. And really start my week off in the right way. So I'm going to go downstairs, get some breakfast, and then I'm going to have a shower. I need to wash my hair, shave my legs, shave my underarms. Then I need to go to the gym. And yeah, I think that's going to be the plan for today. And then potentially... Oh, I don't sleep very well, I don't know if you can tell. And I've literally just woke up, so I could literally be crusty. I can't see it yet, so yeah. And then I think I might do some painting later. I haven't done painting in like a week or so and I really love doing it. It makes me feel really happy. So that's the plan for today. Let's get up, get some breakfast and then we can shower. coffee i am so excited to eat this yum okay so i come to you from the bathroom i just wanted to talk to you quickly about estrid i'm so happy and so grateful that estrid have sponsored this part of the video i actually worked with estrid probably about two years ago now and i have been a paying customer ever since i love their razors so much they're vegan and cruelty free and they come in the most adorable colors the thing i like most about them is the subscription and the subscription just makes things super easy because you get the razor heads delivered to your door however often that you want that whether it's six months or three months or every couple of weeks or whatever like it literally is completely tailored to you and it just makes it super easy that you don't have to go out and buy new razor heads shipping is free and it's also super affordable and you can get the starter kit from 9.95 which i just think is amazing for a really really good razor and you get razor heads with it also i also wanted to talk you through the new color so they've just introduced a new color which is called matcha and it looks a little bit like this i literally think the color is so gorgeous i love it and it also comes with the holder which you put on the wall and then the razor just slots in there and this travel case is gorgeous too it just makes it so much easier when traveling you can just slot your razor in there fold it over and it keeps it nice and safe and clean so now i can roll the clips of me having the cutest self-care of my day shower i'm just literally gonna brush through my hair and dry it i definitely should make this a more regular occurrence where i literally just look after myself and go for a nice shower shave wash my hair at the start of the day rather than at the end of the day because i really feel like it set like quite a nice tone for the day one thing i forgot to mention that i love about estrid is i have never ever caught myself with one of the razors now i am a clumsy mess at the best of times 
but with estrid razors i've never ever caught myself like the blades are so sharp that they will give you the closest shave now whether that's your underarms your down there area anywhere that you shave it gives you the closest shave but i've never caught myself so they're definitely very impressive but i'm gonna dry myself off dry my hair come back on some of this which i absolutely love this is my second bottle of it it's the body fluff vegan whipped daily moisturizer i love the packaging of all estrid stuff i just think it is so so cute absolutely love this and i love everything that estrid stands for they're a very inclusive brand they don't discriminate against anyone it's very much a human focused brand as opposed to female male or you know whatever you identify as it's a very much human focused brand and they are just amazing I absolutely love them so so make sure you check out all of Eshid's products because honestly I promise you you will not be disappointed I've never ever met someone who has tried Eshid and not got on with them so that kind of speaks for itself make sure you check out the product I'll leave them all down below in the description box and yeah thank you so much for supporting supporting me and for watching through this ad and yeah i hope you enjoyed the rest of this video let's get silky and dry hello everyone so it is much much later in the day it's about seven o'clock now and i'm just making some dinner today after i have done i've done everything this morning i've done some ad mini bits that i needed to get done and dried my hair off and stuff and then kind of like part dried it and then it's just dried naturally the rest of the way and i've just made some dinner it's a very very simple dinner so i thought i'd chat you so in here i have pasta pesto and some of these which i got from sainsbury's that is slow roasted cherry tomatoes i'm going to chuck some seasoning in here and some salt and pepper and that is literally going to be my dinner for tonight it looks yum Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday today? It's Wednesday today. Yesterday I filmed a haul video which will be going up on Thursday, so before you see this video, but I just wanted to show you our breakfast. So I'm having bacon, a bit of toast, two eggs, and I've just eaten a sausage. And Dan's breakfast looks a little bit like this. Really delicious. And today we are going to be filming. Dan has an ad with a company called Saxa. Is that right? Saxa. And it's a seasoning company. You guys have probably heard of it. It's a very like big household name. So I thought I'd film like some behind the scenes of us getting the content for Dan's ad. So we need to go to Sainsbury's first and get some ingredients because it's a cooking one because it's seasoning. So we're going to be making fish and chip and it's with their new like spray, spray salts. So yeah, we'll show you all the behind the scenes and stuff because I think that would be exciting. Like I feel like it's a bit of an insight to something that you guys maybe might not see. So if you do like it, then make sure you let me know because I can do more behind the scenes stuff of us filming ads and like partnerships and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to eat up my breakfast. Then we're going to go to Sainsbury's. And whilst Dan is working away, over here i am just editing tomorrow's video which is a try on haul which honestly i have some really really cute pieces in here so if you haven't already watched my try on haul from thursday because that's when it will go up then make sure you watch it after this because honestly it's so good this is what it looks like when you're trying to get some shots Dan's done this for approximately over a minute now <laughs> Little arm worker, just trying to get the right shot. Spraying salt spray over, all over the kitchen. Nice. It's all done. It looks unbelievable. And also, how bang is the spray? The spray actually is surprised, so like it, very surprisingly, exactly what Chip Shop like. It chip tastes shop. like fish shop, fish shop chip. Salt and vinegar. Yeah, salt and vinegar. It's so good. But the salt content's like so much less. How's the fish? Tasty, tasty? Yeah, good. Can I taste? Mm -hmm. Wow, come on. Mmm, very fresh. Super tasty. Good job, Swinny. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It is bright and early. It's not even seven o'clock yet. We are on the way to London. Oh my gosh, it's so um, steamy. We're on the way to London. I went into London last night to see Amy because her flight, um, she ended up getting a later flight, so she's going to be by herself for a few hours. So, but it's Amy's shoot day today, and we're both really looking forward to it. So, yeah, we're heading to London. Speeding on hours. Heading to London. Going to grab some breakfast, and yeah, it's Amy's shoot. Katie. Amy, Dan, me. Dan said that last clip wasn't very informative, so you go. I what? You you do the informative <laughs> things then. Go on then. What's the information? I just 
sure you'd like a Starbucks. Someone would like to get me on. Please me. Where's my car? Oh, honestly. Perfect. Thanks for I finished that in my video. Yeah, As in like football, football, UK football, soccer, football. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd Sport United, Manchester United. Of course, yeah. We're at Chelsea. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 And we are home. I look very worse for wear. I'm so, so tired. Very, very long day. Uh, we were gonna stay for dinner and go out for dinner in London tonight with Katie and Amy and Will and Kate, but honestly, Dan and I are both so tired. So we came back. I've just chucked some sausages in the air fryer. I've got some Yorkshire puddings in the oven. I just made some gravy. That's what I'm gonna have for my dinner. And to be honest, I'm gonna literally fall asleep. It's not even 7 p.m. yet. <laughs> I've got to stay awake because my video goes live soon so once I've done my video, once the video is like up and I've applied to comments and stuff for like an hour, I'm probably going to head to bed because I'm so freaking tired. Hello everyone, happy Saturday, I'm very very tired, the last couple of days have honestly been like not busy at all but I have just really struggled with being fatigued. Yesterday evening i managed to do a little hit workout on an app called jimondo um which was actually really really good i was really surprised it was something i've heard like a few people talk about and you know when you like hear people talk about something you're like oh it's definitely hyped or whatever but i was influenced and i really really enjoyed it so yeah i did that last night and this morning i am just off to sainsbury's to get some bits and bobs that we've run out of and yeah that's literally it it's been a very busy but not like really really busy week my head's just been like really like brain foggy so yeah off to Sainsbury's I'm also going to go to Starbucks because there's a new drink out called it's like a brown sugar latte or something so I'm gonna go there first then go to Sainsbury's off to Sainsbury's let's go also look at this fake tan please it needs to go ASAP. I need to scrub it tonight. I thought I scrubbed it well yesterday, but clearly I only scrub, scrubbed it a little bit. So, yeah. Let's go. Look at all these bits of, like, things flying around. I can't even see them. That's a bit scary, isn't it? Hello, everyone. So, I am currently just having dinner. This is just, like, a ready meal from Sainsbury's. But it's from their Be Good... I think it's Be Good to something collection i say collection like range and it's a full curry and it's only 400 calories so this meal is perfect for me and it is really substantial as well so i'm very excited to eat that 
Then I'm gonna chat to you guys about something that's super exciting that I'm actually launching tonight. When you see this video, it'll be yesterday. But yeah, I'll talk to you after I'll eat my dinner. Hello everyone, happy Sunday. So I literally have, look at this fake tan face. It's actually grim. I've got these joggers on that are from Kai, I think they're called, the label. And this top, which is from Zara, but my fake tan is decidedly disgusting. But I just wanted to come and tell you about what I was gonna tell you last night, but I thought it'd be better to tell you when it's bright outside. And it's that I've started an Etsy shop. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that. But it basically was just an idea. I started painting again and started creating like digital artwork online and I didn't have anywhere to put it. And I'd featured some of it in my vlogs. And a few of you had messaged me saying like, oh, I really wanna buy this piece. Like, is it for sale? like can it be for sale can you send it to me I'll pay you all this kind of stuff and I was like I'd never thought about selling my artwork because I don't really consider myself an artist so I just kind of thought I wouldn't ever sell it but I spend so much time on it and I don't display it anywhere so I did this piece recently and it's all like acrylic paint I did the background and then I just painted Spongebob on top and yeah so I've done that one I've done this one which is like really thick acrylic paint and it's kind of like really textured as you can see and it's quite small these are the same size canvas um yeah and then i've got this big one which looks like this and then i've got a lot of digital artwork which i've created online and you can kind of download the pdfs and take it to any printers and print it out any size you like and just yeah i'm i'm really excited because i finally got like a place for all of my creative vomits basically and yeah some of you have already placed orders which is crazy i put it on my instagram last night and i think since then i've had like six orders which i'm so excited about and yeah they're just pdf so you can use them as and when you like kind of print them as many times as you like give them to friends family as presents it kind of gives you the creativity to do whatever you want with it and yeah it comes in loads of different sizes the pdfs but i will leave a link down below to my etsy shop which I'm very excited about. But yeah, I just absolutely love painting. So I can, I'm gonna put these ones up soon on my Etsy shop as well. So you can buy like actual physical artwork. This one has got a lot of like neon colors in it. And to be honest, they're just, they're just wasted here because I don't display them anywhere. I kind of paint in so many different colors and so many different styles that it could never be like congruent in our house. And to be honest, I get bored of looking at things and I ne we never have artwork up because I'll just get board and want to change it so yeah it's a really nice way to for me to be able to create everything that i want to create and for then other people to enjoy it as well so i'm very very excited i have i think like over 10 designs up on my etsy shop now um of the digital artwork and the digital digital prints and i'm then going to put these ones up too so and also if you guys have anything specific like especially cartoon characters that you want me to paint then i can definitely paint them and i'll pop them up on the etsy shop as well so yeah i'm very excited i hope you guys really like it and yeah that's it really i was kind of nervous and to be honest i wasn't even ever gonna put it up on an etsy shop i have had and in fact i've had a lot of my digital designs up on etsy for like the last month but i haven't actually like promoted it anywhere or put it anywhere they've just kind of been there and i haven't really done anything with them and i just thought you know what if people buy them amazing if they don't then it's still a place that i can have all of my artwork all together and yeah kind of view it that way if that makes sense so yeah if you do like any of them then please make sure you can favorite my shop as well on the etsy apps i really hope you guys like it and now it's time to make a coffee because i need one also so i filled the dishwasher with salt and rinse aid up last night and look at the I don't know if you can see. Our glasses never come out like crystal clear, like really, really clear. They're always like cloudy. And I don't know, I don't know why it is. They smell like really, really clean like they are, but it's like a residue almost on like the outside and inside of the glass. I just don't, I don't know, I don't know what it is. If anyone knows what that is, then please let me know because I honestly have no idea. And I've Googled it and I can't find anything, but like it seems to just like wipe off. Like when I wipe it, like, 
like that. But I don't know, maybe it's the same. My dishwasher's on, I don't know. It's just really irritating because I'd like crystal clear glasses. So yeah, very random. But if anyone knows of anything that will clear that, then let me know. Because, you know, don't want dirty glasses. But yeah, let's make a coffee. Then we're going to edit this vlog. And that is another weekly vlog over and done with. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you comment down below. If you made it this far, make sure you comment down below dodgy tan because that is what I'm working with right now. I don't know if you can see it under my bracelet. I'm gonna try and move my bracelet. Look at this tan. I look disgusting. It needs, it needs a very, very serious scrub. And if you watch next week's vlog and I've not scrubbed my tan off tonight, I give you permission <laughs> to tell me off. But yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, I think it's been a bit of a different one this week with a lot of like behind the scenes kind of stuff. It's been, it's been quite a full on week. So if you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to join the family if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the comments and in my next video. Bye.